Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. This is going to be a short one. Quick tip, the best way and easiest way that I have found to hang your deer mounts on the wall. Sometimes it can be tricky. It depends on what your taxidermist puts on the back of your deer. And main thing is you paid good money to have your deer mounted. You don't want that deer falling off the wall, breaking you don't want it down there where your dog can chew on it. So this is the easiest way to put something on the wall to hang up your bucks or whatever else you're hanging up. Super easy and it's super sturdy. You don't have to worry about it. My boy here. What did you get a deer last year? Mm -hmm. And we just got him. Oh, there's some antlers. We just got him back. So let me flip the camera around here. This is a six pointer he got last year with crossbow and we're fixing to hang it up in his room. He's got all kind of critters in here. That's actually one of mine. He <laughs> he. And then that turkey he got. But here's the easiest way that I have found. Let me show you. So spin this guy around, hold him up. All right, now we're looking at the back of the deer. What I like to do is get this kind of mount. You can see it has space there in the top. And those hooks and then show you over here I get this this is from McKenzie it's a five dollar piece it's super sturdy they actually market this as a, a school hook to put your schools on but if you get on the back of your deer the hanger like this then you put this piece on the wall for the school hanger it slips right in there and it's super sturdy, and I've never had any problems doing it like this. So, let me show you this again. We're just going to find the stud, which I actually already found it, right here. And then we're going to put that on there, and then that deer is going to slip right over it. There's going to be no guesswork on where to hang it, and it's going, going to go on there super smooth. With McKenzie, I think this part number is D. O H one, but I'll put it somewhere below. I don't know anybody over there at McKenzie, and this isn't some type of ad. I don't make a dime off of these, but just showing you the simplest way to hang them. There's no guesswork. I used to do a couple screws here and then put a bunch of wire because I was paranoid that my deer would fall down. This is super secure and it's super simple. Just whoop right there, slides down on there, and it's super super sturdy. So. Let's get this hanger on the wall here. All right, so I didn't tell you this back mount is actually from helpinghandhangers.com. So that's the one that's on the back of the mount. And then this one, I know it's from McKenzie. Here, come real close up here. So I've got this in the stud. Remember, that only costs five bucks. That sucker's cheap. You always got to give it the old, is it in there good? That's definitely, in fact, it's not ripping out with me pulling on it definitely not coming out with this light deer mount so then i'm just going to take that hole remember that's on that slip it right over there super super simple i'm actually going to push that up a, a little bit we don't need as much angle uh, and that'll put more down pressure instead of out pressure and then i'm going to slip that over the top slide it all the way down to the bottom of that hanger i think i'm going to give that even more angle <clears throat> If I can get it up, push that even further against the wall. <clears throat> Y'all know what I'm talking about. More angle that way, more downforce, and more less trying to pull that out. And then I think this is going to be perfect. I think that'll go back even more in the wall. You don't want your buck falling off the wall, do you? No. No. <laughs> Especially right over your bed, huh? Yeah. Get that on there. Give it a nice little snug down. Make sure it's seated all the way. And, hey, that deer is on the wall. And that was super simple. No guesswork. Not having to try to monkey around and find the holes in there. But, you think that's a good spot for your deer? Yeah. Now we got another one. So, check this deer out, fellas. Don't give them a good look because this is going to be in another video. We've actually got a whole story about these two deer right here that's actually pretty cool. So stay tuned for that. But hey, 
Look down below. I'm not trying to sell you something. I don't make a dime off of it. That's just the easiest way that I've found to mount your deers. Appreciate y'all watching. Hope that helped you out a little bit. Hoo-dee-hoo.